Hey everyone, welcome to Shop Talk. Just want to show you some of the chainsaws the chainsaw guy has for sale. All of them OEM parts used on. Very great shape. There's a XPW there with a big block West Coast build on it and several different saws. But that's not what this video is about today. What I want to show you today is how to test for ethanol. Let me clear some of these saws out and I'll show you. I've got a little test tube and it's got some uh, ledger marks on it. And you can make these yourself, or I do sell the tubes if you're interested in them, the test tubes. Uh, you put water up to this line. What's so nice about this one, it has the ledgers on it telling you the percentage of ethanol in your fuel. So you can test your local fuel you're running in your two cycles, as well as your four cycles. Fill it to this mark with water. Put your mixed or unmixed fuel up to this level. Then you want to shake this really well. Let it set for 10 minutes and then we'll measure it and I'll show you what kind of uh, results we get. After setting for 10 minutes you can see the separation. Got your fuel on top, you've got your ethanol here and your water. And by the ratio on this one we're right at 10% ethanol, which is what is allowed in the state of Oregon. But what you want to be very particular about on this ethanol issue is the separation. If you can imagine a scenario of your fuel tank getting a little bit of moisture in there, some water, and then your saw setting or your fuel can that doesn't seal properly draws in some moisture. Humidity, different things cause that. Working out in the rain. It's quite possible you can get separation in your chainsaw or fuel tank, especially if it's not used regularly or if your fuel can is not agitated every time you go to fill up your saw, you should agitate that. That gets everything stirred up. Otherwise, you can get a straight shot of ethanol and just so you know, when you get a straight shot of ethanol in your chainsaw engine, it's game over. And I'll just show you what happens here. Just imagine that's your fuel pickup. That's pure ethanol. And that's what happens to your engine. No oil lubricant. If you've got any questions on this, give the chainsaw guy a call.